hundreds of years, fabulous riches had accumulated behind the walls of Sodom and Gomorrah, cities of sin and unspeakable vice. And the lust for power and wealth had now reached the ever-threatening desert tribes, whose most powerful chief was the king of the Helamites. Even if your prince's estimate of officers loyal to him, our combined attack against Sodom must await the return of my cavalry. Tell your prince I look forward to the day we spill the blood of our enemies. Thank you, your highness. Be careful of Sodomite patrols! intrigue were perpetrated in Sodom and Gomorrah. In the desert, a peaceful people, the Hebrews, wandered in search of forage for their herds and crops for themselves. Amongst these Hebrews was the tribe of Abraham. And the land was not able to bear them that they might dwell together, for their numbers were great. So Abraham said unto Lot, If you will take the left hand, then I will go to the right. Or if you depart to the right hand, then I will go to the left. And then Lot chose and journeyed east with all his people toward the valley of the Jordan. Go back to Lot. Maybe he'll carry you. If indeed it is your will that my people walk these weary miles, please help me not to show fatigue. Give us strength in the time ahead to overcome the misery of our bodies, the dryness in our throats. Please help us endure the fear that eats at our hearts. The journey was long and weary. Thirst, hunger, and exhaustion came unto Lot's people, and so did the loss of hope that spread amongst them the seed of dissension. Lot says it's only for the sick to drink. Aren't you sick, Isaac? Do you feel well? Rip them open. Go on. Let the cold water rush over your hands, your face. Let it wet your lips, fill your mouth. No, 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 don't, please. Then when Lot gets angry, you say, but Lot, dear Lot, can't you see? I'm sick. I die for water. Take it. No. Go on. Take no. it. No, 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 yeah, take please, it. Don't. No. Go on. No. Wait, Isaac, wait. Please. I want a drink. I'm I'm sick, Lot. I'm sick. It was put All here right. for the sick. All please, Lot, give me a drink, please. Help him. Help him. But who made him sick? Who goaded him so he lost control? I say Lot did. I say we turn back. Turn back? When we are almost within a few days, even a few hours of our destination? I say Lot is not fit to lead us. We've suffered enough! He's crazy! Kill Lot! It's not our custom to settle such matters with a weapon. Give the word to turn back. The council has empowered Lot to be our leader, Melchior. It is your place to obey. That staff belongs in my hand. It's my place to lead. <laughs> Ah. 
As Melchior burns for action, I suggest he come ahead with me. We'll find out how far we still have to go. Come on. Water. Come, let's drink. Wait. Where there's water, there is also danger. I'm looking for water. You will find none at the oasis. Not since the drought three years ago. You're Hebrews, aren't you? Yes. Our patrols have told us for weeks that you were coming. They said that your men were bearded. But you're clean-shaven. Why? Our men go clean-shaven when they're in mourning. Really? For whom? A favorite, perhaps. A wife. <laughs> A wife. There is always someone to take the place of a wife, no? How far is it to water? Many of my people are sick for want of it. It may not just be water they need. They may also need salt. Salt? But salt creates thirst. It is a secret as old as my city. When one is overcome by weakness from the sun's heat, one needs salt. Unfortunately, I've traded all mine for, for those slaves, you see. I bought them for the queen. They worked four times their weight in salt. Poor creatures. Am I a poor creature too? Does your heart ache for me? I'm a slave too. Chief of the queen's body slaves. But for one human to own another is wrong. Evil. Evil? How strange you are. Where I come from, nothing is evil. Everything that gives pleasure is good. Well, where do you come from? There. Not far. Just ahead. Sodom and Gomorrah. Citizens of Sodom and Gomorrah, beware. Your sins cry out for extermination. <laughs> You buy men and women as if they were objects of stone. Treat them only as, as implements for your pleasure or machines to work. Even as you whip and force them to mine your miraculous deposits of pure white salt, only to increase the power and wealth of your infamous city. <laughs> yes, your power and wealth rests on salt. And your salt is bought with the blood of slaves. Hear me, O oh people of Sodom. It's only Alabias, the old clown. Close his mouth. I must warn the prince. Yeah, 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 yeah. And someday they will destroy you. Just as your bloody prince would destroy even yeah. his own sister. Yeah. Silence, old man. You dare blaspheme against the queen's brother? He to command loyalty, and you to speak of it. You, who monopolize that one commodity more valuable in all Africa than gold, salt, who use this precious stuff to keep your cruel fingers tight on the heartstrings of a whole continent, who trade your salt for jewels, perfumes, or slaves. To sate the hideous appetite of your queen and your infamous prince, our brother.
hard to warn you. I only hope that we came in time. She has not yet arrived. It was well done to come so fast. You shall be rewarded. Yet it's enough to call for other methods, more subtle perhaps. Betrayal. A great defeat on the field of battle that would disgrace her. Then her murder would be hailed as a supreme act of patriotism. And he who kills her, the next king of Sodom and Gomorrah. My sister. She thinks herself as strong a leader as a man might be. But she has a little cautious woman's mind. I could create a state, a nation, an empire. She seeks to conserve only what we have. Our two joined cities. Here she is, stupid creature. Tama! Tama! Up here! Don't worry. I'll protect you. Don't worry. Quiet. What message did he give you for me? That the arrival of the Hebrews makes a difference. The time is not yet. I said, quiet. Breathe deeply. Breathe, I said. He's blind. Blind? What a wonderful idea. So delightfully imaginative. It makes the whole affair more interesting. Mm. An excellent refinement, Malik. That should certainly make the disloyal slut talk. Utter the name that my sister wishes to know. And your sisters will die. You let them watch and I shall utter it. Of all my slaves, you were my favorite. Weren't you happy with me? Not even grateful. What information did you take to the Helamite camp? Since when did murderers set themselves up as judges? Since when did traitors have the right to question? Who sent you there? Whoever it is, I prefer to leave them still alive. My legacy to your majesty and Saddam. This animal is the most delicate compliment to your taste. Thank you, Your Majesty. <laughs> Proud, too. 
The first since yourself, Hilda. To suppress all outcry. I admire pride. It best not please you too much. If one is to take Tama as an example, the life expectancy of the Queen's favorites is distressingly brief. You say you met them, these Hebrews? That's more than my brother has done. Yet he hasn't ceased to warn me against them for weeks. I wonder why. You can see for yourself the Hebrews are untrustworthy. They're fanatics. Who'll do anything to propagate their faith. And you. You tell me they're not dangerous. Dangerous? Dangerous to whom? To us. Didn't you say they went on our? The ones I saw, yes. I'd very much like to see for myself why you think them such a menace. When my plans are perfected, we shall visit them. I live, my dear sister. Only to obey your orders. As always, he thinks no further than the point of his thought. He thinks of these people as a physical threat. In a physical sense, their presence can be useful. In the event of an attack from... from the Helamites, let's say. In time of peace, they live in useful employment. Slaves of the soil. Yes, slaves, no. Their leader, Lad, believes that for one human being to own another is wrong. If they own no slaves, they must be very poor. Poor? Yes, of course. But they don't seem to know that they're poor. If that man lot chooses not to own slaves, that is his affair. But it's not always possible to avoid becoming one. Particularly when tempted by tricksters old as sweet Sodom, as long-lived as Gomorrah. How often, even in our own marketplace, have we heard? Ah, but the Hebrews keep their word. The Hebrews can be trusted. Yes, between ourselves and that great empire my brother dreams of, stand the Hebrews with their newborn religion. And between the Hebrews and the world, only Sodom. And you, Ilda, are you afraid of being my favorite? Bitterest test. No Hebrew must go into those cities. No, not even near them. Oh. Give the order. No one is to cross the river. No one cross the river! No one! Ah, my two fine, courageous daughters. Our long pilgrimage is finally over. people not to drink too much, huh? Oh, thank you, Lord, for our deliverance. And I humbly beg you to show me what we must do now. Dying men, white 
bones under the Lord's bright sky and his sweet sun. Don't move. You'll be all right. We'll take care of you. Here. Drink. Slowly. What is this place? The graveyard for the slaves of Sodom and Gomorrah. The flesh from these bones was the clay that built those iniquitous cities. Chosen people, or so they call themselves. Chosen by who? Stop. You were right, sir. When it's dressed in homespun, one tends to take crudity for, for virtue. So long as one doesn't mistake it for weakness. Stop. Warn our people. No one is to cross the river. No one. Except you, Lot. You must negotiate for us. Be careful, Lot. Don't worry. My son and I were as slaves of the Queen. We've been ordered to carry you across. I have my own two legs. Please. So we may talk. You have no slaves? No. We're only servants ourselves. Servants of Jehovah. If my son and I could escape to you, Will you give us a sanctuary? I would. Thank you. Your Majesty? Lot, leader of the Hebrews. Of all places to choose from, what was there here that made you journey across the desert? I'd heard the land was fertile. For what, your crop? Or your religion? Or both, perhaps. If this land were yours, would you and your people be prepared to fight for it? You may find the nomadic tribes are far from friendly. Well, we are not warriors. But we would fight to defend what is ours. Then make it yours. All this valley for a hundred thousand talents of grain a year for, say, ten years? It's only fair to warn you that the land is barren and dry. We could not possibly meet the price. 75,000 talents a year, no less. 50. Agreed. For, say, seven years? Still agreed. My daughter, Shua, brings a gift for your majesty to seal the bargain. To dry your legs. Then let me give you a gift in return. This female slave. Ilda? I will not go. I'd rather die. 
Is this why I was schooled? To live here with herdsmen? In hats of... of stinking hide? You were schooled to do whatever pleased my whim. Your Majesty, I must refuse. It is against our principles to own another human being. Is it also against your principles to liberate them? Goodbye. Good fortune. Trouble, Nico. Well, then. Father. Yeah. The women, especially the wives, are reluctant to accept this woman. She's an ex Sodom slave. But I shall point out from the altar of the tabernacle the need for hospitality. Thank you, Nico. We dressed her as you have ordered, Lot. She complains of the fit, but I have told her that she will get used to it, even as the rest of us. Thank you, Ruth. As you ordered, Lot. Well, aren't you even going to look at me? Exquisite, isn't it? And so soft to the skin. Do you find it more becoming than the silks I wore when I came here? For its purpose, yes. What purpose? A bird wears bright feathers to attract other birds. Look at this. Or don't you agree with me? Not at all. Women wear clothes to shelter them from the sun, to protect them from the cold. <laughs> that explains the fit. You, you Hebrews confuse clothes with pants. Oh, yes, they're loose. That's to leave the limbs free to work. What work? A woman's work. To cook, to spin, lean, follow the harvesters. And you say slavery is against your principles? Yes, it is. And yet you want me to do work that no slave of my class has ever done before. To work is the price of freedom. To support your own needs. Be able to determine how and where you will work. To... To own yourself. If it means sunburned face, coarse sand, rough and dirty clothes like these, then let me be a slave in Sodom. Let me, too, if it means perfumes and silks like these. Feel it, Father, like an angel's wing. And the shoes, see the lovely shoes. You'll need these when they're dry. How dare you appear in clothes like that? What would your mother have said? And what would she have said to see the woman who owned these clothes in our tent? We all know why you took her in. No need for a man who has lost his wife to be ashamed of that. Impious! You're forgetting that your father is the leader. The first thing I learned as a slave was that a leader can do no wrong.
our sister's word, this land is ours. They reached it, they're free. Return them! No. Wait! Cease fighting! Yes, man! Would you kill a helpless man? Would you? Well? You. Tell your queen that we'll care for her brother until he's well enough to ride back alone. Sure. Take him to our tent. And also tell her that these men are now free. We grant them sanctuary. And now. Get off our land. Return to Sodom! The Sodomites will never forgive you for this. We have no need to fear the Sodomites. We're servants of the Lord. We're here on God's business. It is they who should fear us. and Lot are offering a prayer to Jehovah and they ask that he help us in our new venture. It's better we ask for swords, spears, lances. They don't yet understand. The Sodomites are your enemies. Dangerous, ruthless. Be careful of this asteroid. No matter how swiftly he speaks, be wary of him. Not at all. Tell me. Do you think of me often? Is my skin still as soft as the first day you bathed me? Does my hair smell as sweet? Does your hand still tremble? My father told me to care for you. I obey him. Nothing more. Not even at night? The tent walls are thin, and you sleep so close. I hear you. Your words are most interesting. What words? What words? Should I really tell you? What is it? Your... your skin. The odor of your hair. Why do I... Why can't I stop feeling? To stop feeling is to die. You're too young for that. Remember your dream last night. The answer... And he didn't even tell you he was leaving. No. Why should he? He only stayed to amuse himself. 
Remember how Ildeth looked when she first came? Those are the women he is used to. any pressure. How long will it take? Well, if our people work as hard as Eber here, we'll be ready for spring planting. A present for the Queen of Sodom. How pleased she should be to see this very ground turn green. The promised land for every slave in Sodom. This root grows wild all over the hills here. And when you cut it, like this, it bleeds. And we use the juice to dye the nails, like this. You see? The more you use, the darker it gets. And... Now what's going on? The girl had feet like an animal, so I was showing her. So I see. Sure. The hour is late. Stock need watering. You see? My father doesn't want me to be attractive. Why can't Malib take care of the stock? Must you do your work as well as hers? Along with you. My daughters are attractive enough as nature made them. They need no adornment to make them more so. Perhaps... Perhaps the best artifice is to have none. You know, there must be a... Charm about the flesh and the skin, sunburn, fresh from the wind. <laughs> that wind Sodom never realized. You think so? Oh. See, the dead floor has its advantages. If that had been marble, this pretty thing would have broken. How strange. Hmm? Huh? Let me see the other hand. Let's go near the light where I can see this. You haven't the hands of a farmer at all. Why not? You have the hands of an important man. Your lifeline is long and clear. My lifeline is short. That means I shall die very young. Do you mean to say you believe in such things? Why don't you? We believe only God knows our future. And that belief gives us a faith that moves mountains. Soon, you'll see that faith creates something that will transform this whole land. And when you see that creation rise against the sky, then perhaps you'll come to share our faith. And after that fine speech, you're going to sleep outside? No. In the tent of Ishmael. Of course, I should have remembered. Here it's warm, comfortable. Too comfortable, perhaps? And you have to set a good example to the men of the tribe. Even though you wanted to stay here, you wouldn't dare, would you? Good night. You're more of a slave to your beliefs than any slave in Sodom. Though your visit caught us by surprise, your highness, we managed to arrange in your honor this rather primitive display of our marching and horsemanship. Hardly primitive, I assure you. A flower of a dozen desert tribes. them an hour longer. I still can't understand why you don't act immediately. Patience. Patience. 
I hear your sister has new allies. Allies? The Hebrews live in tents of skin. Their camps unfortified. Their men go unarmed. Oh? I was informed that even the Queen's brother was unhorsed by them. Mere chance. They're a peaceful people. Still, I intend to appraise with my own eyes the strength of these peaceful people. All things must wait their proper moment. I've trained lepers to hunt. I can tell from the pull of the leash when the animal is ready to spring. That moment is not quite yet. I await your majesty's pleasure. That's all. Have you seen my brother? No, Your Majesty. So, in short, we must maintain a constant alert and gain as many converts as possible. When the attack comes, we must be able to throw our entire strength against the Queen's forces. Gentlemen, how pleasant to see so many of my loyal officers so sure of our defenses that they can afford to while away their time in in my father's favorite game. Playing it here before his mortal remain. You do him and our other ancestors the kind of honor they would have relished. Get out. We were not as idle as you would think. No. More to the point. Have your officers discovered why the Hebrews spend their time in that dusty quarry? Oh, yes. Just before you entered, I was suggesting, only a theory, of course, that those huge blocks of granite which have puzzled us so much are for a temple to propitiate the voracious god of theirs. Best to make sure. Hear their first request for salt. Mind they sign pledges to pay for every grain they need. You might find our guileless ill of use to you. Ask her what they build. A visit to the Hebrew camp? How pleasant. Ah, yes. Lot's young daughter. I must say that at times, you men make me envy your freedom of activity. And nothing else? Many things. As you, alone perhaps, are well aware, sweetest brother, oldest and dearest enemy of all. <gasps> you drew blood. Anna? It doesn't give you any longer pleasure. Not even pain. Go, do as I order. As you desire, sweetest sister. might think we're building a temple to Jehovah, huh? <laughs> to Jehovah, no. A pagan temple, I'm afraid. 
to fertility. <laughs> to see me. Tell me, does this man Lot seem to be attracted to you? I would judge so. Yes. Good. What is it the Hebrews build in the canyon? I haven't even bothered to find out. It's your business to find out. Why? Tell me. My dear child, you're here precisely to keep us informed. To seduce Lot to our customs, to convert him, say. Even as Malik there converts the Hebrew women to our ways. Tell your sister I know nothing. And if I knew something, I would keep it to myself. Now, now, my love. You know my sister does not take kindly to harsh words. What does that matter to me? She gave me away. I'm no longer a property. I am free. I can do as I please. I own myself. I wish you pleasure in the ownership. Seek took cover there in those tall reeds. Thank you. I find your loyalty to Lot most touching. Why do you hide from me? Am I suddenly a stranger to you? Or are you angry because I left without telling you? You won't show me where you are. Good. That improves the game. I have to find your tracks in the reeds. You left tracks, you know. You meant to leave them. Wanted to. So that I could follow you. And find you. And even for an indifferent huntsman. It's easy to follow tracks left in reeds, my sure. As you well know. We'll soon find them. Find where you are. Why do you need so much milk here, huh? Why so much? No! You wanted me to find no. you, admit it. No! Admit it! No. You wanted me, admit no. it! No! Salt is for everyone. It's free. Like water, like the air. The name of the council, NACO sign. NACO sign for all of us. But why? We're not slaves. No, we're free to keep our slaves. Now you leave. Leave. Oh, lad, 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 lad. sure. I didn't think. Forgive me. Done by the ring. <laughs> What restrains you? Is it rougher treatment you expected? No. You dog! Now run! Leave me to my pleasure or die. Kill me, but you'll never reach Sodom alive. No! You want him to live? Yes. You once spared me now for your daughter, I spare you. But now you and I are even. The next time we meet, there will be no handicap. No favor given. No favor asked. You touch my daughter once again. But once again, by Jehovah, I'll kill you. Lad, 
Matt, look. Who are they? Nomads. Helamites. Perhaps now you'll agree. It's wiser to move on. We'll call a meeting of the council. Plan our defense. We are just coming off duty, Lord. Oh, good, sir. All the relief sentinels posted? Just as you ordered, on all high points within hearing distance of each other. Good. But for days we have seen nothing. If the devil is you, or hers, she's worked like one of us this whole week. <laughs> What's this one week? They've been watching us, I better go. Wait. Look at him. She'll have him sweeping out the tent next. <laughs> Leave him alone. A lot? A lot, wait. There's something I want to ask you. It's about Mallow. Be. We look forward to getting married. Married? Oh, well, naturally, not right away. In about six months. Ishmael, when a man and woman love each other, they shouldn't live apart too long. But there are good reasons to wait, lot. My share of the crop, a new household to furnish. Whenever you decide, with my blessing. I'll go and give her a kiss. to my own tent in broad daylight. That's just it. All those women at the river. It will be all over the camp in ten minutes. The breath of scamp. You have a low opinion of me. Have I? You confuse me with my office. Lot, leader of the tribe, would never do this, that, and the other, so of course neither would Lot the man. But now here is Lot the man. His heart is pounding like an idiot boy. He didn't set out for his tent, but his legs brought him here. So, let it be all over camp in ten minutes. Must I deny myself what other people take as naturally as bread and salt? Yes, you must. Because you people must think of you as a good man. Good? Why not dull, gray, old, boring? That was my meant. What is my... Being a good man to do with me being here with you in my own tent. Please, Lot. Please. Is it because you think that I'm a good man and that you're not a good woman? Is that it? Because you once lived in Sodom. But you could never conceive the life I lived in Sodom. Never. But that's over. It's nothing to do with now. Look at these hands. Chapped, sunburnt. These aren't the hands of the slave that was given to me. These are the hands of a woman that will be. No, you can't be sure. I can't be sure. The hands of the woman who is now. The woman I want for mine. All right. Why not? I was trained to please, to submit. I could give you pleasure you never dreamed of. Yeah. In Sodom, we had scented baths. Will you forgive me if I come to you like this, unperfumed? What a shame you took away my lovely dress. I would like to look beautiful for you. No matter. Your taste are injured. You wouldn't even miss the refinement. It isn't pleasure I want. I want your love. I give you mine. No, don't love me. 
I want you for my wife. No, don't love me. I'm not a woman to love. You mustn't love me. Why? I don't know why. You just mustn't. My good wife. It's not for what I've done. It's for what I may do someday. I may never believe in this Jehovah of yours. You will. I may never be happy dressed in clothes like these. You will be. Perhaps. Perhaps something in me will betray us. And I will want to go back to Saddam. That's a chance I will take. Why do you disturb me? What is it you have to say to me that you cannot say to the gods? Doesn't one favor always call for another? Was it not Melchior who showed you the way to Lot's daughter? Other favors I'm prepared to perform. But perhaps you're not interested in the first Hebrews who wish to become citizens of Sodom. Favors in the past are happily remembered. Favors yet to come will be rewarded. Be assured that here you are most welcome. Open! Open! Melchior betrayed us. And what else do you have to say? To Sodomites, nothing. But to Hebrews who betray us much, you are as people dead. Hollow words from empty religion. I'd say you're all mad. If I hadn't seen this great dam you'd built. Help! Help, help me, Father! Help! 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 You've been so wise, so clever. You dug a pit for them and fell into it yourself. You talked the Hebrews into overpaying for a waste land. And now, with this dam of theirs, that worthless piece of land, will yield enough to pay for itself in two short years. Now time is on their side. My gracious sister. But Melchior brought other information. Two. That Lot was going to marry Ilda. You think it's not important? It proves to me that the leader of these impregnable people is not so impregnable. The time is on my side. Speak. Your Majesty, the leader of the Hebrews, Lot, he waits with a group of his advisors. They wish to speak to you. Tell Lot I'll speak to him, but alone. This is excellent. He delivered himself into our hands. With one quick thrust, we can finish with Lot and leave the Hebrews helpless without a leader. And Sodom without allies? Your eagerness to serve touches me. Put away that weapon and wait outside. Why must I always be treated as a child? I said I want to speak to Lot alone. My brother is suffering from a slight attack of hurt pride. Pay no attention to him. You've come to reclaim Melchior? I care nothing for traitors. But where are the ex-slaves that he helped abduct from me yesterday? To clear your head. And calm your temper, Lot. Where are they? I want them back. It is our pleasure to give you pleasure. So let us make you comfortable. You're wasting your time. I didn't come here to be drowned in wine and smothered in cushions. I am the leader of the Hebrew people. And I came to discuss a matter of importance with the leader of the Sodomites. Leave us. You want me to speak not as a woman, but as the ruler of Sodom? Very well, then. But you speak as the leader of the Hebrews. And if you please... Not as the self-appointed prophet of an imaginary deity. We will both dispense with camouflage. Do you want to see the slaves that were recaptured? Come. Where does he go? 
with so grim a face. Wherever he goes, it will serve him not. Our great general's wrath is aroused, and not one of the wicked will escape it. I say that a man on free land is a free man. If that is not so, then we are not the masters of the land we buy from you. In that case, we must move on. Who told you I should mind if you left? Was it Ilda? Nobody told me. But that first day on the riverbank, you asked me if I would be willing to fight for the land. Since then, I have assumed that our presence here suits your purpose. But perhaps I was wrong. One moment. I can afford to be generous. The three recaptured slaves are to be unchained and delivered back to the Hebrews. Yes, Your Majesty. And the right of sanctuary? As you insist that it be part and parcel of your land. That too. You refused to drink with me before. Drink now. To celebrate a covenant between two good enemies. We are enemies, are we not? Our peoples, no. Our philosophies, yes. Do you see any lack of spirit there? Detect any weakness now? Nothing but high spirits, hot blood. I bowed your good judgment. But if it is to be done, it should be done now. You have never asked my price. I assume there would be one. For years, we nomadic people have paid dreadful tribute for the salt from your city. Now our turn has come. One half of Sodom's yearly output of salt. Agreed. The leopard tugs at the leash. When I release it, do you take care of the prey within the walls? My sister. Yes, my sister. I waited a long time for this kind of hunting. <laughs> I'm so happy to see you, my father's wife. Thank you, sir. May I be first to bring you the good bread and salt of life. Congratulations, Lot. Thank you, Ishmael. It'll be yours and Madam's turn next. Happy life. Thank you. Don't lie to you. Thank you. Oh, my lucky girl. Remember, I used it as a bait to catch you with. Don't you ever lose it. Our land. 
We're prepared. So arm yourselves. Take up your positions. As Lot has said, we are well prepared. Calmly, calmly. They must pass through the canyon before reaching us. They're over an hour away. Have faith. Calm yourselves. Our outpost told us. All goes as Lot planned. Have we not rehearsed this? Calm, slow. Meet the enemy with faith. I'm so sorry. On your wedding day. Quiet, Mallet. Quiet. What will the other women think? He'll come back. Sure. You and your sister help Ildis feed the women. Yes, Father. Ildis, my two daughters will obey you as their own mother. It's are less than five miles away. As agreed, you're under Lot's command. Attack. May I suggest that I select our most trustworthy officers and men, that they remain in the city, as Her Majesty's bodyguard. As you wish. Select them. in the very forefront. As they are Her Majesty's most trusted warriors, they were gifted that honor. Then I beg to be given the honor of leading them. You will serve where it best pleases me. Here, at my side. My bodyguard.
Hebrew allies do not even choose to fight for their camp. General, the Sodomite cavalry is noted for its treachery. I hope they are not vital to your plans. We hold them in reserve. With good fortune, they won't even see action. No! No! The Haramites have destroyed their camp. Tents, grain, everything burned. All our men are in their assigned positions, what? Ready, Lord! But suppose the Haramites don't choose to fight where we want them to. That's what the decoys are for. Let's see them to come towards us.
your prince's allies seem hopelessly trapped, Captain. I say the key to the trap is up there. But we turn that key. And we turn the tide of the battle. You take that tank. I'll take the other. Attack south! 
face of death. And that self face of death! Second one shall attack your face. Good soldiers, advance! Divide! what you once called the Hebrews. My dear bodyguard, who got no opportunity to protect his sovereign. Get water and bandages for the wounded. Between Sodom 
and the world. Only the Hebrews. Hebrews and Sodomites, greetings. We extend the hospitality of our city to you, brave lot, and all your people. Inside waits food and drink, and all that your warriors may dream of. Charity? Charity from the Sodomites? We can take Sodom at a blow. Free the slaves. Give us the command, my general, and we'll burn the towers of Sodom to the dust. Accept. We have very little choice. Your Majesty, we accept your offer of food and shelter, but only until our encampment has once more been rebuilt. I will send to the wounded. some sign that I have done well in your sight, that I have made the proper choice, and show me, if you will, what it is I am to do next in thy service. Where do we get water? In there, quick. by the very water we counted on as a blessing. The water's still there. Grow things again. Blood. The water. This land is cursed. Not convinced. I'm not convinced at all. Either the flood or the landslide must have carried away the earth cover. Now our soil will grow nothing. We can never raise a crop. And all this is on our land. What good is land that is poisoned, dead? Better we leave it, go back whence we came. No, no. We will accept the Queen's invitation. We will live in Sodom. Separate from them, but in their full view. Live in Sodom? No, Lot, no. This is the sign I was asking for. Jehovah has chosen me to lead my people out of the fields. We'll open up shops, give honest weights, fair measures. The Sodomite tyranny is ended. Merchants who never came to Sodom before will come to buy from us. We'll pay for our land in one year. But what will we sell? Salt! And so it came about that the Hebrews lived within the walls of Sodom and Gomorrah. And they gave up their simple lives as farmers and herdsmen to become merchants of salt. 
to pay for our land, Ishmael? Or is it for you personally? No, to free the slaves. Why? Why? Oh, the hour for Judge Locke's midday meal. Come back tomorrow and he'll do his best to listen to your grievances and dispense justice. I remember when Locke wouldn't stop work just to eat. I also, I remember he ate as he worked, said honest sweat made a crust taste as good as a meal. In those days, Lot used to say that salt should be free, like air, like water. Now we sell it for gold. Look, the tax I collect from just one day's effort. But that's to buy our land from the queen. Admit it, we sell more because our price is fair. Tell the sodomite slaves that. To meet our fair price, the sodomites work them faster, whip them harder. Lot won a great victory. Now he brings wealth to you, justice to us. Can it be that we sodomites are more generous than you Hebrews? We admire your Lot. Great man. We admire him. We love him. And our love obliges us to remind him he is a servant of Jehovah. And that a servant must not forget his master. Your anger is intemperate, Ishmael. How else should anger be? You could only explain to me what you hope to gain by such radical action. But don't you understand, Lot? It can't go on like this. We must stop them. You mean create an open breach to the sodomites? They wouldn't even know. It would appear the slaves themselves had planned it. What is this? And when they do escape, we have the Queen's word that once inside a Hebrew dwelling, any slave has sanctuary. You would steal the Queen's property and then hide behind her word. Property? Are flesh and blood human beings merely property? Oh, you've changed. I'm a man of peace, Ishmael. I must respect the way my neighbors think. We have accepted their hospitality, broken bread with them. What they have paid for, we cannot simply steal. If we do, we lose all moral ground for being here. Our only moral ground for being here is a free slaves. We are in Sodom to win the people over to decency. While slaves die? Of all people, you know what it's like to be a slave. Tell him. A mine slave? What do I know of mine slaves? I was never one of those. And I think their freedom is less important than our peace with Saddam. Ishmael, I order you. You will make no move without my consent. Then why do we live here? You still will not understand. As we grow in the esteem of the Sodomites, a time will come when we can attain by law all that we wish. By law? And all this you would jeopardize on one rash, destructive act. But they change us more than we change them. Their evil infects us. Look around you. Your clothes. This food. This house. We live in a nicer place because the elders wish us to. Lot's the leader of a prosperous people. And Shua, who paints a face who is never home. And my own Malab, who avoids my eyes. Is this true? Shua passes their time as others of her own age do. And as for Malab... If you gave her as much thought as you do the mind slaves, there would be no trouble between you two. How can you judge innocents who have none? If you have any charge against my wife or myself, bring it before the elders. The elders. Excuse him. He's angry with me, not you. But he doesn't realize how close, how really close we are to success without any need for force. Well, did Lot listen to you? Listen? Yes. It's what he does best these days. All he refuses to do is act. Once the queen told me that between the Hebrews and the world stood only Saddam. Do you believe in that? Yes, I do. Of all the Hebrews, who do you think is now the mightiest? My uncle, Abraham. And if you were to convert Saddam, then who would be the greatest? Lot. How proud I would be. Proud? Mm-hmm. If that should come to pass, it will be the will of Jehovah. I am simply... His chosen instrument. His instrument? No. It's for what you have done as Lot the man. You still don't understand, do you? You still don't believe. That all the great things you accomplish are not yours at all, but thanks only to this great invisible Jehovah? No. 
and the times when you yourself know where the true credit lies. Did uh, your ex-slave irritate you? I know you. No. But I worry for your sake. That we should encounter hardship or danger again. Without faith, you'd be lost. Then I shall be lost. Because I can't believe in what I can't see. And I know that I will never be able to face hardship or privation ever again. But I won't have to now. Because you will protect me. Isn't it enough for now that I believe in you? Because it makes you angry. Is that why? Malib is too young, too innocent, too sweet to be as wicked as... Younger, yes. And perhaps, perhaps also sweeter. You're lying. If you had, if you did love her too, why would you bother to tell me? And why not? Hasn't it succeeded in making you jealous? You see, I was right. You are jealous. I wish I knew. I wish I knew. Come, what difference does it make? She's my sister. So then, haven't you now more in common? More in common, too, with that other Hebrew who finds our Sodom so fair, your father. My father is good. He's perfect. Did I say he wasn't? Didn't he marry one of our women? Bring your whole tribe into the city. How then do you differ from him? And how does Malib? Or I? Do I remind you of your father? Captain, come in. You prefer the captain? He is beautiful, isn't he? Would you like to kiss him? Isn't she lovely? 
Answer me. Try taking her in your arms. Answer me. I thought that years of devotion to your person deserved at least respect. Respect a panting dog that always wagged its tail? He goes, he thinks, to betray me. Already the Queen knows everything. I am close to death. Those tears. For you or me? For Malib. I should bring you great joy tonight, my sure. of the Hebrews that today we see reaffirmed by this final payment from their great and illustrious leader, Lot. First against the Helamites, first in justice. I hereby appoint him Advisor to myself, First Minister of Sodom.
My eternal gratitude to your majesty. To peace and goodwill. Long may it reign between our two peoples, even as Her Majesty reigns over us. Are the guards? Wait. The guards. How many on duty now? Only two. The slaves are eighty. rewarded who first served, and then asked. There was a time, Lord, when your wife could dance as they do now. An attempt has just been made by certain ex-slaves to help their friends escape. However, thanks to the loyalty of our new Hebrew citizens, they and their benefactors have been captured. Bring them forward! Bring oil. 
Have the fire we lit. No! 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 As leader of the Hebrew people, I invoke the laws of sanctuary. But your people refuse them sanctuary. They slammed the doors in their faces. This man, at least, he is a Hebrew. If he has broken the law, I reserve the right to decide his punishment. Very well. To prison. To await Judge Lot's pleasure. No, no! I want to stay with them! Hold I on. want to stay with them! Let me go! Let me As go! As for the rest, their punishment will provide us entertainment. Neither no. I nor my people will witness such a spectacle. Perhaps you'd better ask your people, Lot. I hear no protest. They seem to feel the punishment is deserved. Take them out! Stop them, Hebrews! They have more of you than them! Stop them! Stop them! Save the slaves! Save them! Save them! By all means, Lot. Save them. How can you expect them to defend slaves when they know that you yourself could not defend the virtue of your own family? Your wife. Your wife, who was one of us and will be again. She knew. But conceal it from you. Don't listen to him. He's jealous of your favor with the queen. He just wants to trap you. She shields your daughter, sure. Sure. You once vowed to kill the man who took her innocence. And I would. And kill me. See the guilt on her face. And the other, Malip, whom you find so virtuous, avenge her too. An equal struggle is more entertaining. No, lad, don't. They're only trying to provoke you.
Spare me, Lord. Spare me. In the name of your God, spare me. No, Father, no. It was no one's fault but mine. Oh, let him live. Let him live. <laughs> you the pleasure of my dying in your arms. Remember? No. You won't die. I won't let you. Congratulations. How delicious to cause death. To see life leaking out of a body and to think, I did this. Why? Why? He begged you for mercy. Did he show you mercy? Or oh, Malib? In the name of Jehovah, I punished him. In his name, you led us across the desert. You brought us through the wilderness into Sodom itself. To feed your own vanity. Your own pride. But he thought Jehovah had made his sword holy. And that he had the right to kill an evil man. He has the right. As the first minister of Sodom, he is the law. And the Helamites? You had already defeated their army. But you let loose the waters of the dam, destroyed them, massacred them. In the name of righteousness and your God, you have abandoned yourself to the lust for blood. You are a true Sodomite, Lot. Welcome. No. No. Just look at your Hebrews, Lot. Look at them. Next only to the pleasure of giving death is the excitement of watching it. They were participants in every bloody moment. You have converted the chosen people, Lot. To Sodom. I have killed. What would Hebrew justice have to say to that? Don't fall into a trap, Lot. Be careful. What would be your sentence, Judge Lot, on such a murderer? Speak up, Judge Lot. We await your word. I would sentence him to jail. To be tried for his life. Don't let them take you away, Lot. <laughs> fight them. Please fight them. Look, your people, your people will help you. I promise you they will. Justice is just a word. Why is it money you want me to Don't you understand, Lord? You had the right to kill him. You had the right to kill him. Oh, if you love me, I beg of you, fight them. You don't understand. You just don't understand. Lot! 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 What's happened? Why are you here? What are they done to you? Lot! Lot!
deceive myself. How could I have done such harm? But well, I thought only to do good. I exposed my people to temptation no man could withstand. And this I did with your name on my lips. But only pride in my heart. And now it's... It's too late. If the Queen spoke truth. If we are now as evil as she says we are, then let us destroy each other because we're not worth saving. Let us be wiped from the face of the earth. My Lord God, is there nothing of you left in us? Hear me. If there is that within us that still struggles for life in the face of death and damnation, let it be heard. Speak to me, Jehovah, that I may know we are worthy of survival, that we have a right to live. <laughs> Places because they have corrupted even his chosen people. Because in their sinfulness, Sodom and Gomorrah would allow all God's creatures on earth to die. You must go, Lot. You must lead your people to safety. By sundown tonight, the Lord's vengeance will destroy Sodom and Gomorrah and all who live here. I give thanks to Jehovah that he finds us worthy of salvation to be his instrument on earth. Will he destroy all the sodomites? All guilty and innocent? The innocent had their chance to speak out against the guilty and did not. The child is just. If there are 50 righteous men here, will he not spare the place for their sakes? Search then for the 50, if there are 50 righteous among the sodomites. What, 40? Jehovah in his mercy would not destroy so many good men with a bad. Not even 30, nor 20, not even 10. If I could find 10 just men among the Sodomites before sundown tonight, would he not spare the rest? Jehovah will spare the rest for 10 just men. But if there are not 10, he in his vengeance will level these cities and all in them. And remember, Lot, if among those who leave there are any who look back, Jehovah will know they do so in regret for the ways of Sodom, and he will smite them. Let no one look back. No one. I thank thee, Jehovah, for thy mercy. Let you abdicate, Lord. You're still our leader, Lord. Command us. A miracle. I was freed. See? My chains dropped off. I was freed. Lot, too. He has seen the miracle. Look at his face. See his eyes. Enough talk of miracles. We want our leader back. Lord. Do not desert us. I sinned. And then in my pride I thought to punish myself. 
Now I know. There is another who will punish me in his own time. Nico. We must leave these cities. Are we not to stay? No. To win the Sodomites over? Hold. In the name of the Queen. Let us pass. Don't be a fool. I have my orders. But he'll kill you. In the name of Jehovah. Lightning struck on the clear sky. It's another miracle. Come, we must tell our people. We must tell them what we have seen. Stop it. Stop the wheel. Stop the wheel. They're dead. The entertainment has ended. Or has it just begun? Friends! Hebrews! These cities are accursed! We must all leave here before the sun goes down! <laughs> Captain, take this man. No. Help him up. Let him talk. He amuses us. These cities will be smitten from the earth. Reduced to dust. Hebrews, listen to me. I have been proud... I led you here to be corrupted by an evil people. <laughs> but the Lord in his mercy offers us salvation. Come, follow me. Leave this monstrous place. A miracle, of course. Yes, you must believe. Look at the sun. It is already low. Each moment it sinks lower. We have only till it sets. Why not then? He is mad, crazy. He can do us no harm. And you citizens of Sodom, of Gomorrah, if there are ten among you who will come with us, but ten hear you, then the Lord Jehovah will spare your cities and all who live here. <laughs> Only ten. Ten who still believe in life and not death. Don't laugh. Follow me, I beg you. Lot. Angel of vengeance. And now a messenger of Jehovah himself. Be happy that he's free. A man like Lot moves in strange ways. Who knows what he really thinks or what he plans to do? You, come. Before it's too late, leave me alone. Can't you see I'm happy here? <laughs> the Lord offers you one last chance to redeem yourself. Forgo your perverse pleasures. Come, Lot. You have killed the Helamites, Lot. Rid me of my brother. And now you wish to leave? Leave Sodom even richer in salt than when you came. By all means. Go. And if ten of my people wish to go with you, they may do so. Think of all your people. Leave them with us. What you call sin, to me is virtue. And all powerful death whom you hate, I worship. I turn my back on you, Lot. On you and your impotent God. Lightning. Such simple wonders you teach your people to fear. It is not from fear that they leave Sodom, but from faith. Faith in him whose passing shadow may be a cloud, whose voice is the thunder. Look long on that sun. You'll never see it again.
Follow me. Hebrews, half page. Pray. Listen to the elders. Listen. A hot wind from the desert. We'll have a storm. It will be beautiful. Follow me. Lot, is it true Sodom will be destroyed? As I was told, as I told you, that's a sight I would long to see. Come, follow your elders. Goodbye, Lot. Goodbye. People are waiting. We must join them quickly. Mallet. Mallet. Sure. I know I have a lot to answer for. I'll try my best to do so. Only now, please obey me. Go with your sister. I'll go. Because I prayed Jehovah to hear you cry out, as I cried, to see you struck to earth, to crawl on your hands and knees. Until I see that happen, I won't leave you ever. Father. I did not free myself. Jehovah freed me. Only he can conquer Sodom and Gomorrah. Come. Only to make you see, make everyone see, that it is Lot who is strong, Lot who is courage. Come. tell you, once we leave these cities, if there are those among us who look back, only so much as look back, mind you, then Jehovah will know that we do so in regret for the ways of Sodom, and he will smite us. Let no one look back. No one. Pass the word among you. Lord, Lord, Lord. Stay back. Stay back. men now. Come, join the others. A miracle. Why, by now, Jehovah has not forsaken. It's another miracle. It's the hand of Jehovah. Jehovah has opened the gates. The miracle? No. It was the wind. The wind that blew them open. Don't look back! Don't look back! Keep going!
Meredith, what is it? I don't believe. You must. I can't. Yes, you must. I tried, but I just Please can't. Please believe. It's a summer store. Nothing to worry about.
it is Lud's name that should be on their lips. He is responsible for everything good that has happened. There is no such thing as Jehovah. Thank <laughs> you. 